morning, Susie Cobden. Easter Saturday here today, so happy holidays to you all. Today, um, I just wanted to, I've been spending time with my family and my little seven-year-old grandson who has been trying to teach me Minecraft, which has been quite a funny adventure, funny for both of us, but um, when you start playing Minecraft, the first thing you do is decide who you are. So you look like a little Lego man and in his terms you describe, you pick your skin and there are probably a hundred different identities that you can take on. Anything from a prisoner all the way up to a king, to a wizard, to a magician, there's of course all the um, um, superheroes, there's all sorts of people that you can choose to be. Um, Merlins and ghouls and uh, all sorts of things, ghosts. But anyway, I decided I would be a wizard. I thought that sounded like it was lots of fun. So I picked my wizard outfit and looking quite smart all in the stars and um, this dark blue with silver and gold all over it looked pretty amazing and I thought this is really cool what extra um, abilities do I get with this you know finally I look like the wizard that I feel that I am and my seven-year-old grandson pipes up and he says oh it's nothing special it's just the clothes you wear and I thought, how true is that? You know, we all have different outside appearances. Um, you know, size, height, weight, male, female, all the different skin colours, you name it. We all appear different. And we think, or a lot of us think, that some are better than the other that smart is better than, you know, uneducated, that, you know, we have all these criteria that we measure people with. But when it gets down to the core of it, we're all the same. We truly are. And the thing is, when we start to connect with who we truly are, our innate abilities, our innate wisdom comes through. And we're all just as smart as each other. We all can create and we do, even if we don't realise we do. We all manifest our own lives. We all, um, you know, grow, regrow our bodies and replace cells. We keep breathing. Um, and when we're connected with our inner self, you know, we have access to knowledge, to wisdom, to empathy. You know, um, there's nothing different in us at all at the core. And when we realise that we're actually all connected energetically, that we're one being, that humanity is oneness, and also everything else is connected to us as well that humanity even gets kind of lost in the process of being an infinite creator you know we class ourselves as human and a lot of us think that we're you know at the top of the chain we're we put ourselves above the animals and the plant life and a lot of other things around us. And all of those things are actually us. They're us in a different form. And not one of us is any better than the other. And that means anything that I can do, you can do. And anything that... Um, Anybody extremely wealthy can do, you can do. And anybody who 
has the ability to be psychic can you can do as well and you know I believe we can teleport and things like that and <laughs> my my desire for several years more than a several years ever since I was a child actually was to fly to physically fly without being in an aeroplane who knows maybe one day I'll do it but nothing is impossible everything is within us when we can believe that it is it's just we have so much programming you know not just in our upbringing but programs and beliefs we've taken on from our parents and our parents parents right through generations and generations and they're very restrictive and when we can realize that we're not contained that there are no rules that when we believe we can do something and we move into the heart space and feel the excitement of it happening then we're really close you know when you can feel excitement that is your higher self saying yes 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 it's almost here you know and it's just so important to enjoy every day live in gratitude live open-mindedly and allow yourself to imagine and to dream you know what if everything was possible because it truly is what if what would you be do or have you know have fun play with it and put some comments below you know playing with a seven-year-old is really put me in a different headspace in the last couple of days and um, it's great to get back to those root understandings back to those childlike excitements and allow yourself to play and to have fun because that's what life's about anyway I've talked long enough you guys have a lovely weekend a lovely time with your family if that's where you were at if not do something special for yourself and I'll catch you on the next video bye for now